Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, this is a follow-up to part one of de-rusting track with vinegar. Now, in part one, that was yesterday, that was Monday at, uh, oh, I forget, 6 o'clock, I think. And uh, I just uh, took some really, really nasty old track, stuck it down in this little Pyrex pan, covered it with uh, white vinegar, 5% white vinegar and gave it 24 hours today is tuesday and it's almost almost eight o'clock so it's been 26 hours that this has been soaking in there so i just want to show you how effective this really can be now if you look at the original video this uh, track was useless it was covered absolutely covered in oxide and uh, wouldn't conduct electricity it was just unusable it was junk so this is the result. Let me get the uh, vinegar off this and put it over here on a towel. Move the camera. All right, so 24 hours in vinegar, and this is the result. So you can see 99% of that rust is gone. And uh, these rails are smooth as glass. Let me wipe this off of this so it's not dripping the stuff all over the place. So this was some pretty nasty old rusted track. It was unusable. You couldn't get power to run through it. And what good is track you can't use? So in this case, Rather than trying to mechanically remove it, which is virtually impossible, we soaked it in white vinegar for about 26 hours. And as you see, 99% of the rust is gone. And this is hollow, so it didn't just de-rust the outside. It de-rusted the inside where the pins go. And so this... Uh, when it's finished, uh, when you've deactivated the acid, cleaned it and dried it, this will run like new track. And we're gonna do a quick test with a volt ohm meter here to see what kind of conduction we have in this rail. So let me grab the meter. Now, this is a volt ohm meter. I'm going to set it to ohms. This measures resistance, of course. And let's see if I can prop it up somehow where you can see it. Hold on. Now, you can see that, I guess. All right. Now, if I touch these together, we get a reading of 0, 0, 0.1, which means there's no resistance. So, let's see what happens. We'll attach this to the center rail there and the center rail there. And we have zero resistance in this rail, which means we can plug this in right now and this piece of track will run. It's impressive. You can take a really nasty, old, useless piece of rusted track that is good for nothing and in just 24 hours of submersing it in white vinegar you now have a piece of fully usable three rail track now you notice all of the paint is gone off the ties but it does not affect the insulator on the third rail. So now all we do is uh, deactivate the acid, uh, plunk this down in water with uh, baking soda dissolved in it. That will instant, instantly neutralize the acid. Uh, you clean it up if you want to with soap and water and a scrub brush and uh, rinse it well in good clean water. Just, you can do this all in the sink and uh, put it on a cookie sheet in a 200 degree oven for an hour to completely dry it and uh, the rust is gone and the rust is not only gone on the outside 
it's also de-rusted the inside where the pins plug in. And so once you have this track de-rusted, it'll run almost like new track. It uh, isn't pretty, but uh, most of this stuff, if you go down to a hobby shop, they probably have boxes of this that they'll give to you. You know, once this track is rusted, it is usually beyond repair because people don't realize that you can de-rust it with something as simple as 5% vinegar. And you have to admit, that looks pretty good compared to what it looked like 24 hours ago. And I can probably throw it back in there to get all the extraneous uh, rust off of it. But uh, we know it's been rusted on the outside. We know it's been de-rusted on the inside. Uh, we've got uh, re zero resistance, according to the meter. And there's zero resistance in this track. So you will be able to plug this in, make a circle out of it, or a whole layout. And it will run just like new. So it's really, really simple to do it. And I just wanted to do a video to document it. You know, people laugh at this stuff. But if you're trying to do this on a budget, uh, you know, I always recommend buying new track. But if you're not in the position to buy new track, you can afford a uh, two-gallon bottle of white vinegar and save the track you have. It gets you up and running. And then you can improve things as you go. But this is a really, really excellent way to de-rust track that could not be used for anything else. It works really, really well. And I've done nothing to it except pull it out and look at it. Uh, the acid did all the work. That white vinegar works well. Uh, it doesn't smell that bad. It's completely non-toxic. Uh, you can uh, uh, deactivate the, or the uh, acid with uh, baking soda mixed in water. You can do all this in a kitchen sink. And once you've deactivated or neutralized the acid, take it out, rinse it really well, uh, scrub it with a brush and some soap and water if you want to. Cleanser works really well. And uh, rinse it with good clean water, stack it on a cookie sheet, throw it in the oven at uh, 200 degrees for an hour to completely dry it, and you will have track that will run almost like new. You know, this was junk. And now it's a piece of usable track. And you saw it has zero resistance. So you plug this together. This is going to run. Guaranteed. So I just want to do a follow-up video. It's really, really simple to do this. It's non-toxic. It costs almost nothing. There's lots and lots and lots of rusted track to be had. Uh, almost any show you go to, there'll be rusted track. Hobby stores, rusted track. Junk shops. They may not have any trains, but I bet you at least one of them will have a box of rusty track. And once you de-rust it, it will work almost as good as new track. It's not pretty, but it's runnable. It's usable. You can run a train on it really well. So I just want to do a quick video to follow up the uh, part one from yesterday. This was some pretty nasty rusted track. And as you see... The rust is 90% of the rust is gone and we metered it and we have no resistance in the track, which means this is ready to run. So I just want to do a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Ben's trains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.